their natural flavoring. Whoever decided to taste what comes out from the behind of a beaver is clearly not a sane person. Yet we let these very people flavor the food we find sold in our supermarkets. Hey yo, what's up? Everybody, welcome back to our channel. It's your boy Jesse Keegan, and we are Funny and Jesse. So, right about now, we're gonna do another reaction video. But before we get into the reaction, guys, I wanna thank everybody out there who's been subscribing to our channel. You guys are the realest MVP. And also, I wanna thank the people who've been uh, like just giving us suggestions videos. You guys are super, super dope. And hope everybody's doing fine, man. Hope everybody's staying at home, lockdown, and uh, just, you know. Uh, washing your hands and taking care of yourself sanitizing your hands and also sanitizing the, the environment too very important yeah so today we're gonna do another reaction video and this one right here was suggested by a selected group of people and they suggested that we should go react to the poison in 2020 you must avoid yeah so without any further ado let's get it A human being requires three essential things to live. The first and most important is of course air. A human being would die in just three minutes without air. The second is water. Around 60% of the human body consists of water. This essential liquid of life is vital and the average human being can survive up to three days without it. And finally, food. Although a person can survive up to three weeks without any food, our bodies require food for nutrition, energy, growth, and health. Why is it that with all the advances that have been made in the world, that people today are more sick than ever before? The rate of obesity has risen by 100% over the last 30 years and is rising even more rapidly now. The National Cancer Institute says that 38.4% of people will be diagnosed with cancer in their lifetime. That's nearly half the world. Along with all these health problems, many people today are also dealing with depression and anxiety. But how can food contribute to sickness and depression? To understand the problems we face today, we need to be conscious of the things that have changed around the world. Technology, social media, music, movies, food, water, air. All of these things play a part as you will learn in later episodes insha'Allah. For now, let's look at food. Today we live in a capitalist world that is filled with greed, disease and deception. Money is the main motivation of the food industry. Your health and well-being is not. The food industry provides beautiful branding and visuals on their products to entice the customer into consuming things that are completely unnatural. It's Let true. me give you an example. Did you know that vanilla and raspberry flavors are enhanced in many products using a mixture of anal secretions and urine from beavers? And this is all FDA approved and categorized under natural flavoring. Whoever decided to taste what comes out from the behind of a beaver is clearly not a sane person. Yet we let these very people flavor the food we find sold in our supermarkets. Scientists and labs can create fake artificial flavors of any kind without adding any real fruit flavor to it. If they are generous, they will add a few drops of real fruit so that they can label it as natural and sell it to those who avoid purely artificial flavors. Most processed and packaged foods contain hardly any nutrients for the body. This is why so many people in the world today are starving while they are overweight. But how is that possible when their stomachs are full? Well, unfortunately, they have been deceived by the food industry. Processed sugars are found in nearly everything in the supermarket. They have given these refined sugars many different names, so the consumer remains unaware. What the refined sugars do is stimulate the appetite and encourage the consumer to keep eating. But since the food lacks nutrition, the body keeps demanding more because it remains starved of nutrition. This is how you create an obese population, a population of pure consumers addicted to the beautiful artificial and fake flavors that will lead to sickness and fatigue. So what is the solution? 
we encourage our viewers to really think about what they are putting into their bodies. Take some time to study and learn about proper nutrition. The body does not require much food, but it requires quality food. And quality food is real natural food, organic, the way Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala intended for us. When I was a young child, everything was organic. But then they introduced the fake altered, hormone injected, genetically modified foods full of pesticides and poisons. Back then, those toxic foods had to be labeled clearly and most people avoided them. But when they dropped the prices of the impure foods, people began to consume the impure over the pure real food, simply for the dollars of this dunya. We consume the abused and tortured caged animals over the natural organic ones because we saved a dollar. Let me tell you, when everyone has that same mindset, organic will die and everything will be poisoned. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us people of understanding who realize the reality of this earth. This reality will hurt many people and many will not give up this consumer-based mentality because it has become ingrained within them. But know that every action has a consequence. And that consequence may be your health which subhanAllah is priceless. When you do good, the results are good. And when you do evil, the results are evil. This is Allah's system of justice. We will end by reminding you that there are two categories of food for a believer. One is halal, and every Muslim knows this. But how many Muslims obey Allah when He has told us to eat that which is tayyib? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, O humanity, eat from what is lawful, halal, and pure, tayyib, on the earth, and do not follow Satan's footsteps. He is truly your sworn enemy. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us clearly in this verse that we should eat from that which is not only halal, but also pure and good. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us and grant us all understanding. Wow, such an amazing video right there. The poison in 2020 you must avoid. Ah, oh, man. The video actually explains things, uh, you know, it's, it's just a self-explanatory type of thing. But um, most of the people actually don't even follow, you know, what the video is actually telling us. Uh, according to Muslims, you're supposed to eat something that is halal, you know. Anything that you go, uh, like for example, if you go buy meat, it has to have a label somewhere there written halal. And uh, I mean, yeah, that's a good thing. It's supposed to eat something that has been um, ordained probably by God or something like that. Uh, yeah, I think that's the right word or something. It's supposed to eat something pure, good, uh, something that has been um, has been purified. Really for the lack of a better word or something like that but again um man every day we eat but again i feel like 70 percent of what we eat is not what it used to be like back in those days you get it i mean just like uh the way this guy was narrating like when we were young we used to eat organic food i remember we used to go and 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 climb the trees and get mangoes from the trees and we used to actually go and 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 just get things from from the tree itself you get it i mean those days are amazing but look at this world that we live in today we are overly dependent on the supermarkets and you know the supermarket is a business it's it's a it's a place where uh there is a lot of uh cash flow and they need to make money quickly they need to count their money every 24 hours they need to see how many things have they sold so um knowing that the supermarket is a um is a money oriented type of business uh you will come to a term that um even the farmers are under pressure now i mean they're being told like hey you know what you have to produce a lot of fruits produce a lot of whatever uh, thing that is supposed to be 
uh, placed in the supermarket and stuff like that. So the farmers are forced to actually inject those seeds so that it can grow quickly. And um, they are actually being forced because they also want to make money. I mean, it's all about money nowadays. They want to make good money. And the more they do that, the more they make themselves rich and the more uh, they actually have enough income and uh, 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 there's enough cash flow and all those kind of things. So uh, you find out that the farmers are actually like injecting the seeds, uh, injecting the animals so that they can grow quicker and quicker. And we call that GMO. I mean, it's really critical that we should know what you're putting inside our mouth before you even just pick that thing in the supermarket. Is it worth it? Your body, is it like um, really important to your immune system? Because at the end of the day, um, our bodies are, are, are no machines, you get it? Our bodies react to, to, uh, to anything that we put inside our mouth. Someone say that uh, what you eat is what you are or something like that whatever you put inside your mouth that's what you become so it's it's something that people should actually try and look into because sometimes we tend to eat a lot of junk a lot of uh, foods that have no nutrients foods that have no uh, whatsoever any kind of vitamins and stuff like that we eat a lot of chemicals and stuff like that which it actually uh, makes our body it slows down our body immune system and all those kind of things and uh, by the time you realize it's going to be too late and you find yourself being in a, at a place of, of being sick or something like that but anyway there's a lot of things happening out there there's so much i think people should actually really try to understand what kind of foods you're supposed to put in our in our stomach what kind of food how we're supposed to actually ingest as human beings and also the most important thing is water because the body is built like 75 percent water and the rest is other things so we need to take a lot of water very very important especially now that you're in on quarantine and all those kind of things water very important vitamin c vitamin d if you if you can go like get get the sun out there uh, what else um, vitamin E very very important at this particular moment get a lot of oranges eat oranges yeah get, get a lot of um, ginger turmeric and all those kind of things those are the things that are gonna help you out at this particular moment because they're gonna boost your immune and they're gonna make you feel even much easy easy easier and, and better yeah and also another thing is that let's try and avoid um gmo stuff you get it let's try to go into organic i know it's really hard it's really really hard nowadays to find an organic type of foods because everything is just different nowadays you get it um it's really hard to find organic foods but if you happen to find them then get them but again you might find them that they're really expensive just because it's a, it's, it's an organic type of fruit or whatsoever the thing that is and um also i feel the most important thing that people should actually understand too is your body is everything that you need the moment you understand that health is more important than wealth that's when you start taking care of your body critically yeah and uh, i mean such an amazing video right here if you feel like i reacted to this video in a better way just give me a thumbs up and don't forget to go down our comment section below and tell us exactly what you want us to react to and tell me uh, what do you think about my reaction? What do you think about this video? Is there any kind of suggestions that you can just put out there for people to actually learn and just anything informative so that people can actually see and they can be able to actually learn from particular things that you're going to post on the comment section below. And also, uh, the most important thing is don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Then we'll keep on subscribing. Then we we'll give us the motivation to do a lot of videos and to give us a better, better content. We are almost getting to 14,000 subscribers. I know we're going to get there in two weeks. And thank you so much for being part of our family. You guys are amazing, amazing. Thank you so much. If you want to support us, you can just go to our Patreon down below. Uh, just uh, go there and support us. And yeah, I mean, it's it's not a bad thing to actually support somebody because we've been doing this for the longest time and we're trying to actually 
uh, show you people that we are here to uh, entertain you guys and at the same time if not educate you at least the videos that you watch is giving you light is giving you joy is giving you uh, happiness and that's what we want to do and we've been working hard every time we almost I mean we have like 500 uh, videos on the line already I mean that's so 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 amazing and thank you so much for being part of of everything that we've been doing and yeah I'm gonna see you rather we're gonna see in the next video peace out